have used charge to it, not not right now. Sonar detected. Uh, hey there, welcome everyone guys. This is Astro. I'm Shambu and today I'm gonna tell you how you can optimize stream labs along with Apex Legends for single PC streaming setup. Stay tuned. So, as I've told you, I'm gonna tell you about Streamlabs and Apex Legends. Before that, a few things like, you know, Streamlabs. The people from Streamlabs have already said that Apex Legends is a streaming nightmare because it demands a lot of hardware. But today, I'm gonna show you the settings that you can apply, that you can use to actually have good results while streaming. So before I go into settings, I want to tell you what things I use means what are the applications that run while I'm streaming. Number one, Streamlabs. Number two, Apex Legends. Number three, Discord. Number four, it's not an application, application but the thing is I have turned on Windows DVR to clip 30 seconds gameplay. Last 30 seconds gameplays. Now, okay. If you check out any tutorial out there about increasing performance on Windows, they will say turn, they will say turn off game DVR. Well, but no, I didn't because I need it for clipping because I'm not always streaming. Now, this video will actually help Nvidia graphics card users much more because it's something specifically for Nvidia graphics card users. So uh, we'll go one by one over here in Streamlabs. Number one, make sure you're using static stuffs in your stream. Okay, first of all, you can see this is my main scene, and there is nothing dynamic over here. This place is for webcam, and everything else is just static. The only animated things over here are my stream starting window, the intro, normal intro. We gotta be right back, intermission, and stream ending. But nothing else. Do not keep anything animated within your live scene. Keep it for the GIFs and all. Sorry, I mean the alerts and all. Like, let's go subscribe. And you can see this is the only thing animated over here. This GIF. Nothing else for my stream. Now, I've already shown you at the very beginning of the video the performance before optimization and after optimization. Well, this includes optimizing both Streamlabs and Apex Legends. So we'll go through set Streamlabs settings first. So let's open up settings. In general, this is there isn't much to do over here. Stream is about your multi-streaming stuff. Over here in output, you can see there's nothing much to do do over here. Um, this is something that if you have multiple GPUs, which GPU to use? In my case, it is GPU zero because. You can see over here performance GPU 0 is my actual GTX. GPU 1 is a Radeon graphics card that's of no use. I mean, that's with the CPU. Leave audio. Oh, one thing, once thing more in output. This is the most important thing encoder. Make sure you use hardware NVENC new. This is NVIDIA encoder. This actually uses a very specific chip on your NVIDIA GPU that is not used during gameplay or anything else that is specifically meant for encoding videos make sure you use the new one well the di and when you use software x264 it uses cpu now apex legends already uses too much of a cpu too much cpu now if you use cpu to encode the video performance will falter in both the things both in game and in the stream so make sure you use your gpus and bank chip to encode videos Next up, nothing more to do over here in videos. Okay, make sure you start your streaming with 720p, 30fps. You can keep the base canvas anything, even 1920 to 1080p. But make sure your output resolution is 720 for the very first time, and keep FPS at 30. Now, if you want to increase the quality of a stream, you need to think of two things. One is frame rate, another is picture quality. So first thing, if you want picture quality, try to stream at 1080p, 30fps. If you want frame rates more, try to stream stream at 720p 60fps. See which works out better for you. And slowly you can move to 1080p 60fps streaming. If you have good internet connection too. 
now in advanced you need to go over here uh, I mean yes network in advanced network path and make sure you have dynamically changed bitrate when dropping frames while streaming checked this is unchecked by default you need to make sure that you check it so that it can dynamically change your bitrate when your network connection falters falls so that if you have a bad connection someday your stream won't lag or it won't cause any problems other than that there is nothing more over here in streamlab settings another thing in streamlabs is to enable performance mode while using streamlabs you can see a preview of your stream stream window over here that also takes up some cpu and gpu power so make sure right click outside it sorry uh, okay right click outside it and turn on performance mode everything will be turned off you won't be able to see anything but everything will work absolutely fine so now we are done with streamlabs let's head over to apex legends to show you what things you can do in apex legends to optimize it well, here in apex legends i don't know whether my frame rate over here is getting recorded or not i'm going to show you what settings i'm using so what settings will go to video ok we'll keep this is the more full screen ratio this is to 9 whatever is the resolution i'm going to keep this this is the Right now you can see it's running at somewhat near 100 FPS. Give it in the chimney. It's 80 over here right now. Sorry I'm trash. In the chimney. Anyways, you can see that the APS is still doing while I'm inside a smoke. Actually, it's even more while I'm inside a smoke. See, there's no lag, absolutely. Now, I'm recording this using Bandicam. Next footage, I'm gonna show you recording this game using Streamlabs. Sonar detected. Sonar Flip, 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 flip. Air strike. 